We have a huge weight on, on your shoulders, really your first year in the team, practically nailing down a place, surrounded by a whole, uh, a whole raft of new players in the same circumstances as yourself. A lot of pressure? Um, oh, God, I, I love to say, Matt, pressure is for tyres, but I suppose when it came out in the 2020, when we were coming up with that new panel in the year 2020 that it was, um, I was obviously one of those players that was newly introduced to the team. Um, again, being 2020, I kind of said to myself, you know, do I want to give, do I want to give this a go? Um, considering it was all about enhancing women's sports. So I suppose that was one of the main indicators for me. You know, you're listening to a lot of people. I'm after hitting 25 now. I know it's not very old, but you know, your playing days are limited. Um, and that was more so a driving force there for me to kind of get involved. While I know, did the lads take a gamble on a few of us putting me there um, at the forefront? I don't know, but um, I'd like to believe that um, they obviously saw something there in the squad. And as Donal had mentioned, we've girls there who've been on the panel before. So Caroline, Kathy, Amy, Kathleen, all of those girls, like they made it such a seamless transition for a lot of the new girls, you know, and that was something that was crucial there for me, like, um, and it has been a massive, massive support, like, like with Caroline there as my vice captain, you know, like a seamless transition, as I had said already, she's just so knowledgeable and so experienced, like in the field of it, you know, giving how many years there to Limerick, like, and without Caroline and Kathy, all the girls that are there, Amy and Kathleen, they made it, you know, really easy I suppose um, to get involved and to carry on with all these new faces and those girls as well have been playing in underage um, I know myself I haven't been involved in those few years but um, a lot of those girls like Maeve, Sarah Sheehan, Katie Heelan as, as well would have been involved back in um, the 2018 campaign but it's just important I suppose to be aware that a lot of these girls have experienced it underage but maybe missed out on that push um, to move on to senior level and I suppose that's what Dolan's talking about there with the whole idea of the Cork LGFA, like introducing those minors at such an early age. It's, it's very important because we want to keep girls, um, you know, involved in the game and we want to have the best players in Limerick playing with the county team. Um, so do we need to make a step forward there by introducing younger, younger girls? We do, but we also need, you know, the experience um, from the other girls there to bring them on. And again, just to make that... I, I suppose, a valuable support network um, on the squad itself. For, for you personally, um, Neva, it, it's been a fantastic year. Like, captain, captain in your county, um, playing at centre-back, a key position on, 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 the, on the team, and such a great run with, with, with Drum Bradford in, in the domestic championship. Oh, it's, it's, you know, the year and all it was, um, it's been a fantastic year, considering... I suppose the circumstances that we're under and I, I mean credit where credit's due I suppose with the club scene and with the county scene we were blessed with the management structures that were put in place for us and um, we all had a goal I suppose for the club this year I said if, we, if I was leaving Nocadary this year I wouldn't be coming home if we didn't come home with that trophy I suppose the house itself it would have fallen apart the amount of us that are involved but with the club scene that was what we went out to do this year we, we've left it behind we've got four and semi-finals and we've got knocked out by the skin of our teeth and it just we weren't accepting it this year and the same goes we've, we've brought that mantra I suppose um, onto the county team as well so there's four for our club reps and that and that mantra as we'd said we'd set out at the start of the year and it's just every game you go with every game you go with the intent to win, win every game and we're so lucky to be surrounded by girls um, who've also been involved in really really uh, successful club campaigns so like Caroline there with St. Davies winning their championship campaign. Um, unfortunately, the junior championship wasn't uh, run off this year, but we've girls there as well who were blooded into the county championship this year with really, really good, um, I suppose, really, really good blood in them, football blood, um, winning blood. I suppose winning is a habit. And when you're playing with girls there from, who did, you know, fantastic club campaigns, and now we're moving into the county campaign where we haven't lost any of our games this year, which is fantastic. But... Winning's a habit, and we're very lucky that the girls that we're surrounded with um, have that mantra themselves, you know, and long may it last, I suppose, really. Um, we'd be hoping, you know, uh, all things going well, that we're not going to leave this weekend behind us either. 
Um, the two games that you played to date, um, Neve, um, Derry and Antrim, there were marked similarities in the games in that you played with, with what was a stiff breeze in the first half. And on, on both occasions, uh, um, didn't have what looked to be a safe lead at, at half time, um, anything but safe. But in the second half, the defence stood up, really, really came to the fore. Um, absolutely, Matt. And like the conditions that we're playing at now, like you're talking there about the wind, it's it's not something you'd expect to be playing with if you were in you know the middle of the summer. It's it's very different conditions. Um, you know, we're with the wind, we're against the wind. It's it's about, I suppose, we're, we're settling down a little bit later into the matches and that's something that we need to cut out there because, you know, we can be a little bit wasteful or you mightn't be, I suppose, instilled in that belief to a certain extent. You know, you always have to go in with the belief that you're better than your marker and you have to get in our boots. Um, I do think, though, that we... we sorry, I'm going to have to fall off the chair. <laughs> um, I do think, though, you know, we... We have the ability there in the back. We're a very, very strong defensive backline. Um, but again, it's again we're only working as a unit lately. Um, we're only back together the last maybe what six, eight weeks. It's flying by. I don't even know how many we've had left at this stage. But we're, every day is a learning curve, and every minute, you know, we start to believe in each other. We're playing that bit better as a unit. So I'd like to think that you know, come this weekend, we'll be much more of an oil machine again. And maybe instead of just turning up in that second half. Um, as you were saying, um, that we'd be able to, you know, get get off the mark that bit quicker. But at the same time, I suppose we have to look at um, what are we actually conceding in our games. We're cutting out a lot of ball there. Um, it's just a case of being much, much more efficient and effective going up the field and taking the opportunities and the returns as they come. Um, so, our, our, you know, what we're conceding is quite low in the grand scheme of things. So that's something that we're going to, you know, want to go forward and bring into this weekend as well. Niamh, the the biggest uh, change or difference in in this year's preparation. I know. I suppose we've um, we've all seen the the individual water bottles, the the protocols around training. What's been the the biggest kind of thing, the hardest thing that you've had to get used to, or, or is it the fact that there's nobody at the games? What's been the biggest thing that the the biggest upheaval? Um, would you believe it or believe it not? I think the biggest upheaval is meeting the girls after the match and being able to get together. Um, I, as I've actually said it before, like I just think that getting to know your players, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch, um, is so important and actually getting to know them as an individual person, um, not just your teammate on the pitch. Um, reason being is that I just find that, you know, if you get to know these girls, and I'm not saying it's going off, um, to the pub or whatever it is like you know all these things are closed but I just feel that you know if you know your players personally that you really do build a better bond with them um, and I suppose you just kind of feel that you you're set to go to war with them um, and I think that's something that I'm I'm really missing um, you know and it's not necessarily celebrations but talking about the match afterwards you know you're in a group you might watch the, bat, the match back and you might talk about, you know, what did we do well? What, what did we not do well? What can we improve on? And those kind of things I really feel that we miss out on because it's just a, ma a massive bonding opportunity there for girls to get to know each other and see each other off the pitch. And, you know, I know that the water bottles and the whole idea of the tactic board at the, wa at the water break and stuff, yeah, like, it's, it's new, but I think we've adapted to that. Um, I just don't think that there is any way in which you can adapt to not you know getting to know your players off the pitch and the conditions that we're at that we're in at the moment and I know training like training's what an hour and a half two hours and we go up and we have our food and we have our mood do or whatever it might be and that's a great opportunity as well but it is cut short as well and um, you just like those opportunities to be slightly longer I suppose um, that would be a big thing there for me like um, I, I really do miss those because I just think it's a massive gateway for people you know to express themselves and to get to know each other on um, another basis and another level